You call that a swing? I'm hand my friend, Nave. Why don't you make us, if you and that toothpick of a sword even can? What shall we do, my prince? We teach them that tormenting the innocent is not a hobby that comes without its price. Are you hurt? No, ma'am. Thank you. What a striking figure. Just who is she? Monica. Thank the Father you're all right. I'm sorry to worry you, Hans. Don't be. This wasn't your fault. And you, Sir Alec. Words will forever fail to capture my gratitude for what you've done this day. We'll never forget this, brave hero. Please, your continued safety is thanks enough. Our role in this is concluded, my lady. I trust you'll see them to sound shelter. Whatever Kerr has claimed you're not but a reclusive coward, they're dead wrong. I suppose that's what I get for believing rumors. Forgive me, Prince Elaine. You must have me confused. I'm... Champion of the rebel army and lost son of Queen Elenia. I'm well aware. Enlighten me, Monica. If you knew Elaine was the prince, why did you leave us to dispatch those rogues by ourselves? You speak as though you have no blame in the matter. Or do you greet all your acquaintances with such shameless detachment? You know her, Clive? In a manner of speaking, yes. The woman before you is Lady Monica, beloved granddaughter to Cornea's own Marquis Nordheim. And though the affair is years since buried, by a compact reach between the Marquis and mine own grandfather, the Count, she was my fiancée as well. This is a great deal to grasp. Ex-fiancée would be more accurate, Your Highness. As for you, Clive, I've no doubt you're aware of the shadow your liberation antics cast over my family. Zenoira confiscated our territory, 
stripped us of our title. And what scant land we were seen fit to retain stood on the farthest fringes of the entire kingdom. Monica, I... I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this. And I never asked for your apology. It's as you say, long buried neath the sands of time. In any case, our land now rests firmly in Zenoira's steeled fist, and I haven't the authority to let the Liberation cross it. But... Oh, don't look at me like that. We all know the tale. Yesterday's fiancé becomes today's foe. A story as tragic as it is trite. But I've made my peace with what must be done. Then prove it. You've shod this horse, now show me how you ride. Though a suggestion, if I may, don't stay your hand. One false step, and you'll find yourself the freshest corpse in the body pit, just like those rogues before you. What word of the rebels? Still cornered in San Larish, ma'am. But they'll be prepared to march at any moment, by my estimate. Then we resolve to face them head on. Give word of such to any man or woman fit for battle. Whoever brings me the heads of these insurgents can name their reward. Yes, ma'am. Stare any harder and you'll pierce clean through me. Do you object, Matthias? Indeed, I do. Hmm. Clive and this liberation of his mean to threaten us into submission and resist Zenoira rule besides. My judgment is sound. I'm certain of it. I've served beneath you a great many years, my liege. A decade past, you would have clutched the mantle of freedom even tighter than Sir Clive does now. And I suspect that fire in your belly burns yet brighter than you'd have me believe. We both know the inferno such flame can bring. The other noble houses had long held us in kind esteem. Yet when Grandfather refused to bend the knee to Galerius, they forsook us like we were common swine. In the end, his banishment and the confiscation of our lands were the price we paid for survival. If one as proud and dignified as he could be dragged to such depths, I dare not imagine myself immune. My liege. The territory stripped from us is now lorded over by aristocrats loyal to the might of Zenoira. But they spurn proper leadership and grow fat off the very lifeblood of our citizens. Far too many have suffered as it stands. I won't condemn still more to the slaughter. Even if it means cutting Clive down myself. In another time, another life, perhaps this could have all gone differently. Ah, Clive. A pity it is to see you here. Yet pity shall not spare you my blade. Now, come. Your blood will wash clean the Nordheim name. Let us see if you can uphold that boast. We stand to gain nothing from this bloodshed, Lady Monica. I implore you, withdraw your soldiers. Your breath is wasted on such feeble words, Prince. But if you want to hear the voice of true strength, listen well. There shall be no surrender. It seems the rumors spoke true. Very well. I admit defeat. Well met, Prince. I surrender. My life is yours to claim, should you but promise to let my soldiers free. I'll promise nothing. We come for peace, not blood. Now the rostrum is yours, Clive. Go on. What could you possibly have left to say to me? Only the truth, Monica. Marquis Nordheim is a key benefactor to the Liberation. He what? In our fledgling days, we had no backing to speak of, and not to fill our coffers but dust and cobwebs. Until, that is, 
Your grandfather took it upon himself to fund our development. By his words, he'd much sooner see his wealth invested in Cornea's future than stripped barren by its captors. <sighs> you mean to say this struggle lacked purpose? To tell me now at its conclusion? I do not. What remains of your noble house could never risk having its fealty questioned by its Zenoiran masters. Hence, the Marquis sent us here. They will hear you fought valiantly, and were left with no choice but to capitulate. Wonderful. A drama to rival the scripts of the Masters, and I the only one to improvise her lines. Tis entirely too believable, coming from that old fox. But should my grandfather wish it, I've no place to disagree. Grant me permission to join the cause, Your Highness. Any objections, Clive? Not a one. The Marquis knew all along how this would play out. Questionable though his methods may be, the man clearly bears a vast and profound love for his granddaughter. Then we mustn't do that love a disservice. Not to mention our dire need of reinforcements. Come with us, Monica, and strike true your blade for the liberation. You shall know none truer. And mind you don't meet its edge yourself, my former betrothed. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs>
Was there something you wished to discuss, my prince? This is quite the lovely spot for a chat. Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. <laughs> a shame. You should know better than to get a girl's hopes up. Was there something you wished to discuss, my prince? This is quite the lovely spot for a chat. I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. That's a bold declaration there. When we first locked swords, I saw in you a knight of firm convictions and truly immense skill. With one such as you beside me, I'm certain we can bring Galerius to heal. So that's how it is. You desire my strength, yet care not for matters of my heart. Father forbid. I assure you, that's not how I meant it. I only ask this of you as the one I trust most. The one I love. <laughs> oh, but it is fun to watch you squirm. Pray, do not tease me so. If you insist. But allow me to return your sincerity in kind. I could never refuse this offer. Not after the next king so boldly professed his love. As you know, my life has long been devoted to Cornea and her people. And I would be honored to continue on that path of devotion as your beloved wife. Thank you, Monica. Under our shared rule, Cornea shall finally know a new dawn. A brighter dawn, free of violence and cruelty. You know, I never realized just how cute this little ring would be. I wonder how that ex-fiancé of mine will react when he sees it. Please, don't torment the man more than strictly necessary. <laughs> Majesty, but how? Mother! No! I won't lose you again! <laughs> oh, but you shall. How does it feel? Hmm? Your dear mother, slain by your own hand! What's happening to me? Elaine! <laughs> Your Highness! Ah, what a poor fool he was. Doomed to the same fate as the pitiful queen before him. How is this possible? His strength surpasses even Elenia's. The might of the unicorn runs deep in his veins. Your words reek of the devil's breath, but we shall never stand down. <laughs> Strike at this new body of mine if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command. And a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? Stand strong, Sir Joseph. None can ever hope to halt my designs. I'll bow to your <sighs> I'll finish this. This day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not, 
You'll make a fine Zanoiran vessel once it is. I would almost believe you were Elaine truly gone. Yet there's still hope. I'm certain of it. Enough. Can't you see it's over? The ring. But why does it hold such vast energy? This is your doing, isn't it? Listen to me, Elaine. Should you give in now, Cornea would be lost to the flow of time. A forgotten land and a forgotten people. Is that how you'll let this end? Prove to me you're still that hope! It will take more than this to defeat me! Victory is almost yours. Now reach out and claim it as your own! Galerius, you saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past, I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! How is he yet standing? My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form, while the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond. Their emperor shall never know <laughs> defeat! Your majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. Trade in idle words all you wish. We'll never allow it. What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the city seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Mm. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty. But how? Mother! By the Father's grace, she still breathes, Elaine. Speak to me, please. I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. The decision is complete, and the gate to the beyond stands open and true! <laughs> oh. 
rise, prisoners of the Unicorn's Curse. Spectro phantoms from an ancient time. You shall be the first to perish by my newfound strength. Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. Our march could only ever reach one conclusion. Onward, to the closing act! Come home, both of you. What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? Wild ramblings of a man gone mad. Let us bring this fiend to justice. Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more, and in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Pathetic child. Souls of the Departed, if you've any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! is leaving me! You've ruled everything! A cursed fool! These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives. Human will in its purest form. Impossible! The city of very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it. You miss the awakening of Ultra, his death's cold embrace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come for me. Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! Today, this vile candle is snuffed out at last. <laughs> of time! <laughs> 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 